Welcome back to Araka's High School Run Level 5. Level 5? Episode 5. The night was calm, apart from the echo of distant shots. That's irritating, I could have gone out again. But, meh, you live and you learn. It's always a question of just trying your best. I should probably get with this like micro uh, magnifying glass, because the radio station. I do have that, the last broadcast saved on my computer, I need to just upload it. I didn't, don't think I recorded it with audio though, so I'd have to do some stuff. But that's fine. That's fine. It'd be something you guys probably want to see. You guys want to see that, don't you? You want to see me. You want to see me playing through that and probably messing up. You don't know how well I did. Maybe I, maybe I didn't get to the end. Maybe I, maybe I did. You never know. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. If I like, if any of these episodes, any of these runs died on like day three, I probably just wouldn't upload it. To be honest. I don't think it would be entertaining for you guys or anything like that. The idea is that you guys enjoy watching this and so you can build the tension and things like that. So it should be fine. Doing all right though. I think that Arika should get to day 30. Like she's doing pretty well for herself at this point and there's not a lot to do in the days. So we are very much sitting on a position of, I think I'm gonna guard once more today. And then as soon as we've had a raid, I'm then gonna go out. My logic is, is that in that in that idea, we end up in a position where the, we are less likely to be raided two nights on the trot outside of an outbreak of crime, especially in winter. Hello, you guys. You're probably asking for another thing of help. Oh, you brought me something. That's nice. Hello. You brought me something. Yes, nice. Is this the... Yee, yeah, it's vegetables. Good. Nice. So we've got a lot of veg. Good. We have a lot of food, actually, because we've got the six in there. So I think we could... We could genuinely just stick around for a while. That would be interesting to see what happens. Because that way we could... I do need more materials though. I think the next time we get raided, the next day, Arik's going to run out and grab materials. And we're going to also, the last day, like when we get into like day 25, day 26, the one time we... The, when we get raided at that point, Arik is going to go out to the military outpost with just a lockpick and is going to try and complete like the top thing. Two, because that's twofold. A, everything that's in the house at that point is fine and safe and, and embedded in a score. And secondly, if she dies, she doesn't lose that many points in the score, like, total. Cool. Time to go to sleep. And we're going to guard again tonight. We're going to guard until there is a, day, a raid, and then we'll get past that raid. Cool. Let us end the day. Very nice. Cool. Uh, I said I'm going to guard, so we're going to guard, and we're going to stay. And hopefully we're going to have a raid, because I want to get through this. Oh, come on. It's irritating. Genuinely, very irritating. It looks like this does stick around, though. That's a good thing to learn. So we can have a little, like, set of that. Ooh, we're a bit low on water. That's not helpful. Um, okay. What am I going to do here? I know that vegetables are worth quite a lot, and I can get more of this than I can get veg. Unless, of course, I built a garden. If I manage to build a garden in any of these run-throughs in 30 days, that's impressive. And if I start to actually, like, grow lots and lots of veg... Sorry, something on the towel side. Um, but, yes, um, I'm going to leave that there, still. Um, I think I'm going to loiter until maybe the trader comes. Because if the trader comes, I can then get some water and then cook properly. Because it just saves so much effort if I do that. Another day of guarding is irritating, but we kind of just want to get to the situation where we can... I, I can almost guarantee a day, a clear day because of everything. It does seem as if weather is dropping though. My first day of winter would also be a, a tactic to go out and sort it out. Because I don't want to lose everything. Okay, good. Trade has come. I can even give him a couple of pieces of food for water. Oh, I've also got bandages. I think I'm going to give a bandage. Because the thing is, I'm not too worried about Arika getting hurt, so I could actually do one of those. And you can, in, in return, give me water. I, don't, I feel like, actually, that's going to be plenty. And if I if I spam that a little bit and get some materials, um, what else could I give you in return? Because I want to keep that for the finale. Um, fuel is not very good at the moment. Um, if I give you one of those and then take... Uh, two of this from you, and also all four of that. Can I drop anything to make it a little higher? Um, maybe a book. You, you don't want a book. Okay, I won't give you a book. Maybe one more of that. There we go. 
This is what I'm thinking, is that this stuff is going to allow me to upgrade very quickly. And if I deal, I'm going to run upstairs quickly and just check. I think that the thing to upgrade first is probably... I think the heater could be the one to go for, because I don't want to get sick. Sickness is dangerous. How much more do I need for this? I need that, but I need to upgrade this to get that. So I need more wood. So that's 11 wood, so I can get 11 wood and a part, maybe. 11 wood and a part, I think, is my thing for the other bandage. At least that. Maybe some other stuff on top, of course, but cool. Nice. Um, so if you, if I do that and you give me, uh, that's 10, 11, and uh, 2, 3. Three parts, maybe, as well as on top of that, you can give me maybe one of these. It won't do it, fine. Um, one of these. That's really not one of the, one of these. Two of these. Okay. I feel like that's going to come in useful very soon, so let's deal with that deal. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I've given you two bandages, mate. Don't don't be salty. Sometimes you can be a little passive aggressive when I tell you go. Okay, that's pleasant. Uh, let's. Start this upgrading situation then. If I get the main workshop up to level 3, that is a strong, strong position to be in. Because then I can also get the thermoregulator ready. I've also got the water so I can uh, upgrade all of that. This is literally all of my materials though. But I thankfully do have enough water just to give myself some food. Which is nice. <sighs> Let me Honestly, following all this logic, I'm just going to end up not getting a single raid for the rest of the game, am I? And that's going to be my thing of like, oh... Uh, but no. Because now that I've done that, I can go out to somewhere that gives me lots of resources that day after a raid and just go for it. Maybe it is a thing that after the outbreak of crime, it's meant to be low. Maybe I, I'm going to learn bits and pieces like that. Oh, I don't have enough. Ah, I've only got three electric parts now. So let's make some food and then sleep and then guard. And we will hopefully, <laughs> we'll be fine. Like, Arika's not, not, not going to be tricky. We're almost halfway through now, which is nice. Episode 5, about halfway through, makes sense. I'm expecting these to become about 12 episodes long if everything goes right. Poor Anton only got 9, because unfortunately he died in episode 9, but what are you going to do? Very, very nice. Araka goes to sleep. Nice. And we can then end the day, I believe, there. We're going to be guarding. I think, yep, guard. Who was this? Oh, so can't get to these places due to fighting. That's fine. We're going to stay anyway and guard. Is it winter yet? It's not winter yet, but fingers crossed we've been raided and we've managed to defend them off. There we go. Nice. Well done. So, Araka, tomorrow you're going to go and grab a lot of resources. So let's see what we need, because I would like to upgrade the cooker and I'd like to upgrade the heater. Those are the two main things, because those are... You end up losing a lot of resources if you don't have those upgraded. 20. I need 5 and 5. Okay. Okay. Honestly, it may be worth grabbing expensive things that I can then trade away for materials. Um, over here, and that's not what I want to upgrade this as well. This just needs, com this one should be manageable. I just need three parts. Three parts and valuable stuff to trade. Three parts and an electric part, I think, is the, like, the drastic stuff I need. To get the stuff to upgrade this, and if I get some like worthwhile items, maybe from because like the shelter, co the cottage that I went to had some meds and had some diamonds, so that should be fine. And if I went to the, if I went to the sniper junction, maybe with the crowbar, and I could go do the sniper junction actually. The sniper junction would be very good for a lot of resources. I think the sniper junction is my shot because I think it's I can get from side to side, and then I can help the guy get some like diamonds and stick around here for a bit if things go south i think i'm happy with that yeah yeah the sniper junction is one I, I often was like a bit anxious about going for just because it felt like very very dangerous especially compared to a lot of the other places that you can get a lot of good items but since i've done the tutorials it seems like it's actually a really like useful place you're not going to have any unpredictability as long as you can move fast enough you'll be fine Ooh, there's someone coming to the door. It sounds as if you're the sort of person that needed my help. Oh, I think this is the ability that I should have helped and given something. They're probably going to ask for bandages, and I was like, ah, I gave them away to the trader. I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, it's Marco. I'm looking forward to your playthrough, Marco, but I'm sorry, not now. No, no, bye-bye. 
I know it's sad, but this is the one, the game of this thing. I don't... They keep on saying this. They keep on making me feel bad. And it's not that. It's that I'm just in a position where... This is the challenge. Okay, here we go. Sniper Junction today. That's the plan. I can't go to the Sniper Junction, so I'm going to have to rethink my entire plan. Um, a lot of these places do have some stuff. Um, ooh. There is a ruined villa which we could steal from. The garage has got lots of materials still. Um, small apartment building. The, you know what? I think that... The shelled cottage does have the meds, the diamonds. I think that's the place to go. And I think that I've now I've got all of it. I can just walk away. We're not going to get scab uh, looted two times in the same, like on two times in a row. So we should be fine. No one ever gets looted twice in a row. I realise I say this, I am looting this place twice in a row, but that's that's not important. Um, I needed five of that and five of this. That's fine. <laughs> I will be looking for some other better parts, though. That's the thing. Because it's like I can trade away for some of this stuff. Um, cool. Maybe another day coming here. So, yeah, I've got kind of... My idea is that for that, because I can get, like... I'll probably get, like, eight wood for that, each one of those. Um, let's go upstairs and see if there's anything up here. But my logic is, I think the next one I want to do is the Sniper Junction, wherever I get the opportunity. Because <laughs> it will be after the next raid. Um, but this is fine. Lots of other things here. Not so much materials, but I will grab the diamond that I believe was in this section here. Yep, and the nice parts. Yes. Um, do this. Drop one of those for that, and I also need this, so I'll drop that for those. And I think that that is the best setup. I've got a lot, some materials, some of that. Yeah, that's good. I can always come back here if I need to. Um, did I, what did I leave under the bed? Did I put something back under the bed? Must have done. Oh yeah, I put some wood under the bed. Everyone loves wood under the bed. Cool, and that's the day, end of day 14. And because I'm probably going to guard the next day, we'll do day 15 as well in this episode. Which makes sense. To be honest, I may be that nine episodes is a good number. Because by the time I get this far in it, we end up a bit quicker in how the days go. Do, 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 do. Perfect. My plan worked like a charm. I think this is the way it, was, it should work from now on. Is go out on the nights after raids. Because that's thing. That's how it was, should. It all goes down. Uh, it is day 15, so I should eat. I've got enough of everything just to do one meal, but that is absolutely fine. And we're starting to get cold, so I need to think about heating. That's nice. Good. Eat, eat, eat. Yum, yum, yum. Cool. Let's see how far away I am from this being upgraded. I need three components and that thermoregulator. But I can make the thermoregulator now because I've got enough materials to do this one. With that, I can then, well, I can hope and pray that the, what's his name? The trader comes, Franco. Franco the trader? Yeah, Franco the trader. Comes and then I can give him some of the stuff I got. Maybe the diamonds for some more parts. No, more, more components, sorry. And then the more, with that, I can upgrade this. I'm a bit anxious about giving away this medicine. Because if in the winter, Arica does become... Um, sick then i need something to just to stave off the initial parts of infection because if she gets too ill as we found out with anton those will not cut it so <laughs> it's, it's worth having them just to try and not even get us that far cool i think this is going all right so far like i will need to double check the scoring mechanics and i think including this sort of stuff will be good I should be a bit more on the ball with things, because like at the halfway point I can see certain things, like this is 15 points, I believe this is a bit less. Um, diamonds don't count, but the bullets, so that's 10 and 16, so that's 26. Um, none of this works, this is like 5, 5, 3. So there are, like, scores are coming, but then you've also got fully upgraded, so that starts at 0, 10, this exists, and has been upgraded once, I believe, so that's... Um, that's 10. This existing is 5. This existing is 5. This existing is 3. 
So, like, that's another 5 up there, another 10 up there, sorry. So stuff does add up, another, like, 6, maybe, 4, maybe 6 over there. Things, like, do add up quite nicely, um, which is all good. Thankfully, the trader continues to come in the winter. I do think, actually, I'm going to, because I don't need wood necessarily for this bit to make the upgrade heater, I'm just going to make some fuel. Because making fuel means that I can stay lovely and warm. Um, where is it? Here. I can make four fuel. So if I put a couple in now, I believe winter's going to start tomorrow. And we'll start episode six with us fighting through the initial stages of winter, which is always lovely, isn't it? We all love winter in this game. But what are you going to do? Getting this fuel is a big, big positive. And we will see where things go from there. Nice. Looks like no one's coming today, so let us start by pushing a little bit of fuel in here, put it up to the top, and then let's go to bed. You'll see that this starts to push up. Nine, ten, eleven. Cool. Very good. Very nice. Very, very nice. End the day. And it jumps up to 16. Takes a little while to warm up. We're going to guard anyway tonight, so let's us guard. Hopefully, day 16 is on its way, but I'm going to leave it here for today. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Perfect timing. We got raided, so we'll probably head out again tonight. But thanks for watching, guys. You'll have to catch that in episode 6. See you then.